Hi, this is Miss D at these special things, you guys. I broke another fingernail. Ouch. I know. I hate it when my fingernails get this length. If I'm looking for paper and stuff, this is when I start losing it. Though I lost those two care and luggage. But, okay, I guess it's time to cut them all down. But anyway, no, that's not what I'm here, why I'm here. I am here to show you a card that I received from Slim Cards. This is Shonda. And this card, I did open it. Um, this card is so very pretty. Would you look at that? And I'm going to take it out. Thank you so much, Shonda. You didn't have to send me a card. Um, and look at the card. Wait a minute, you guys. How cute is that? OMG, would you look at this card? That is so pretty. I love the way it's folded. Yes, how cute is that? But anyway, she said, just wanted to thank you again for the amazing creation you made and so generously sent me. It sits in my craft room along with other crafty YouTube friends creations. Happy crafting. Hug Shonda. Slim cards on YouTube. Gosh, this card in itself is gorgeous. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh, you're going to make me pull out my dies. This is something I have not done and I don't know how long. And then she has this little seahorse there. It's a metal piece. How pretty is that? You should see all the detail on this card. This is super gorgeous. Thank you, Shonda. Very pretty card. So yeah, I wanted to show you this um, because I just got it out of my mail this week. And um, yeah, so I am actually in my craft room. Um, I'm going to leave this right here because this card is so pretty. I'm going to hang it up. I'm going to have to find a place to put all of my cards for my crafty friends. I think I have a place for it, but I want to look at them um, for inspiration. I love cards that I get because they do give me inspiration. But uh, someone asked me about my room that I use to store all of the stuff that I alter. It's a lot. It's a lot. When I tell you guys it's a lot and that's just some of the stuff in there that I alter. I pretty much have my um, things that I alter stored all over my room because I like to look at them and sometimes if I put them up I forget. <sighs> I think I could do this. Let me try this way. And that way I could take you through my room. I'm going to cover this. I'm still here, you guys. I'm going to take you through my room. I know. Um, without making you dizzy. And I'll just point it and show you. This is a bathroom that I actually had my contractor take out. He took out the bathroom so that I could actually store all of my stuff in here. Um, this was the fourth bathroom in my house, so I wasn't like <laughs> needing another bath. So I decided, that's what my sister said when I did it, oh my gosh, I got to go upstairs to use the bathroom, but yeah. So I have lots of stuff in here that I buy extras of to alter that, uh, whew, what is that? A dresser. It has loads of stuff in there. Just loads of stuff that I purchased that I know I want to alter. Um, yeah. And this right here, this is the floor of it. I'm thinking what I'll do next is, of course, get me some more IKEA storage and put it in here so that all of the storage cues will be uniformed and neatly placed and then I can probably show you all a little better what I have in here but yeah I have so much stuff in here I that I like to alter um that I alter my sink is still in here the shower is gone and the toilet is gone yeah <laughs> 
But anywho, yeah, so um, this is just loads of stuff. If I could just show you what it was, it would probably be a lot easier because there's stuff back there. There's stuff under stuff on top of stuff. Um, this is as neat as I've gotten it in a very long time. But, yeah, this right here is, I'm trying to show you the different walls and stuff. And I think that's what I'll do. I'll work on measurements for this right here so that I can actually take all of this stuff out of here. And put some Ikea uh, shelving in there and get all of that stuff in the shelving. Not to mention I have, let's see, loads of stuff up there, bird cages and I know I have bird cages up there that I use as houses. I just have loads of stuff. I have loads of stuff over here in a cupboard but this is my, um, this is a totally different section. And this is not in that room, but I'm going to pan over here. And it's even more storage stuff that I have here. Yes, it just goes forever. And you can't see how far how far down it goes, uh, projects that I'm working on. But yeah, I just have loads and loads of stuff that I actually alter. Um, yeah, so... One day, I am actually going to clear this out just a little. Once I put all of the IKEA shelves in here, because the one on the back side of me is built in, and it's no moving that, so they'll be there forever. But maybe I could put more bins in here and get this cleaned out a little better, because I'm working on using my stuff you guys yeah so that is my altered storage room and that's just some of it so yeah uh don't tell me how messy it is i already know <laughs> all right you guys but and right now i don't know what's in there it's a lot uh sometimes when i see videos i watch videos i remember i have stuff but no, I just don't remember right off the bat because um, I find great, great sales and stuff like that. I'll purchase the stuff and boom, put it in here. And one day I'll get around to using it again or using it. But right now that is why I haven't been shopping so much because... Um, I don't have anywhere else to put anything. So right now, and then a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing right now, um, I have it. So if I don't, I'll go out and purchase a few pieces uh, here and there. But mm, for the mo mo mm, most part, not so much. But anyway, that's where I store my altered items. A lot of them. This is how I'm storing it right now. And when I change this and put the IKEA storage in here I think it'll work the I think the I think I could do what I'm planning to do and it'll work so once I do it I'll have to show you all and I don't know when I'll be able to get back to IKEA hopefully soon because I want this to be neat 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 like the rest of my room I know my room is neat but I can't touch anything because I'm afraid I'll mess it up so yes I'm down here um working today well really moving stuff around cleaning it out trying to figure out what is what I wanted to do projects but that is so not happening yet but anyway once I do this I'll come back and I'll show you. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to end this here on this side. So I don't have to go back to my workstation that I was at. All right. Thanks for watching all. Bye.